Welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jackie. I am a labor and delivery nurse and a recent women's health nurse practitioner graduate. I actually recently just took my um, board certification test and passed. Yay! Um, I did have to take my test twice. So if you go back, you can watch both videos where um, I, you know, talk about my results. In this video, though, I'm going to talk about the things that I used to study for the Women's Health Nurse Practitioner Board Certification Test. I um, originally took my test in June, early June. And as you know by now, I did not pass the first time I took my test. When I took my test that time, I used the right here. Fitzgerald Health Education, the Nurse Practitioner Certification Exam Review and Advanced Practice Update, Women's Health. Even though I did not pass my test, it is not because of this material. This material is very good. If you research um, this program or if you even look at other YouTube videos, a lot of people recommend this um, these study resources. My school my uh, professors actually recommended for all of the students to use this um, study material so i am not blaming this study material for the reason i did not pass there was a whole lot going on um for more information on what was going on during that time go go back and watch that video but yeah so i did study just this my first go round, and then i found out that i did not pass so my life ended, or so I thought. And then I picked myself back up, refocused, and started studying again. When I started studying again, I did use this. What I do like about this um, review guide is that it breaks the material up into chapters. There are 21 chapters. This is the table of contents. 21 chapters. So um, the chapters range from like chapter two, primary prevention, which it talks about health promotion and immunization. Chapter 14 is menopause. Chapter 19 is routine prenatal care. So basically this book I think is great because it's broken up into chapters. So if there's a particular area that you're just not sure about, you just go to that chapter and you study. A lot of study guides have so much material that it's kind of overwhelming. This one I feel like has just basic information. Not basic information, but like, uh, you know how sometimes you talk and you go around and around and you never get to the point? This review gets to the point. Let me see. So here is a page in chapter two talking about health promotion and immunization. So active versus passive immunity, which is preferred, and it tells you just like that. Gives you some information on it. Chapter three talks about secondary prevention, detecting preclinical diseases. So here, like secondary prevention, what it is, what it is not. Simple. So yeah, so this is a great study guide. And also have online resources you can you have all of this given to you. They're not checked off, but I did do them all. So you go through all of the workbooks, all of the chapters in this workbook. Then there's some online resources you can have. Another thing is you're reading through this workbook, but each um, chapter has a recorded lecture. So you're reading along with the recorded lecture if you want. Um, final resources. There is a final review of hundreds of questions, course questions. There's a 150 question practice test that comes with this. Yeah, and it says color illustrations referred to in the live courses and recorded programs. You can find them all online. So yes, this is a great study guide. But when I got my uh, initial test results, where I struggled the most was pharmacology and uh, yeah, pharmacology. <laughs> pharmacology is not in this book. 
So to me, that is the biggest downfall. Pharmacology, there is no chapter in here dedicated to pharmacology. So when I started studying again, I had to look for other resources that tailored the areas that I struggled in. On the uh, National Certification Corporation website, let me pull it up. They have a, um, some study material that is that recently came out. I guess they revamped it, um, and I thought it was great. It's all online. I didn't have to get a workbook. And when I got this workbook, I paid a couple hundred dollars because it came with everything at once. Being as how I had already bought this workbook, I had already paid to take my initial test, and now I was going to have to pay to take another test. I did not want to pay a couple hundred dollars for another workbook. So the great thing is that on the national, on the NCC website, you can buy just what you need to study. You don't have to buy the whole um, program, which you can. Like if this is the only thing you're studying, I would suggest buying the whole program. But because I already had this, I just needed a few subjects. Oh, no, not it's not on NCC, sorry. It's on the Nurse Practitioners and Women's Health website. WHNP Certification Exam Review Course was recently updated in 2022. I looked um, at their little video to see if I felt like it was going to be worth it before I decided, you know, to spend more money. But like I said, the great thing is that I did not have to buy the whole package. I could just buy the subjects that I needed. So their um, exam review course is broken up into um, content. I guess like uh, this book is broken up into chapters. Their review course is broken up into content. Everything is online. I can just pick on the content that I wanted. And because I have a membership with them, I was able to get a discount. So that was another plus. I love the fact that I did not have to buy the whole program. And I love the fact that I got a discount because I have the membership with them. I got the membership when I was a student, so it was really cheap. And I still get to, um, be, you know, get all of the great benefits. So let's see. So primary care is a big subject. So it is broken up into four different um, modules for on this website. What I bought was... Pharmacology, because like I said, Fitzgerald did not have a pharmacology um, chapter. And on NPWH website, pharmacology is broken into two modules. So I did buy both modules. Each module with my discount was only $18. I think I, ended, so that was, I bought those two modules and I ended up buying, um, I think, professional the whole professional and legal module. I probably ended up buying a total of four modules. So I spent $100, less than $100, which was fine for me because I was able to focus on just the content that I needed. With doing that, I studied the content that I needed from them, which gave me a new perspective on some of the things that I already had in here. I studied, I re-studied my notes in here and I also went back and studied this book that I had from school. This is Midwifery and Women's Health Nurse Practitioner Certification Review Guide. We actually use this school a lot. Um, yeah, a lot. I don't know why I didn't use it to study the first time. But a lot of our actual test questions in school came from this book. And so I went through this book. So my first test I took in June, fast forward, I took my second test, October, end of October, and then I found out I passed in November, like first or second week in November. So yay. But anyway, so this time I felt prepared. I talk about it in a previous video, so go back and watch that video, but I felt prepared. And so I can honestly say I was prepared. I felt like I had covered all of my bases with the study materials. 
um, once again, what I used to study was Fitzgerald. My uh, only complaint is that this does not have a section on pharmacology. So I was able to get pharmacology study material from the Nurse Practitioners and Women's Health, um, their association website. The good thing about the Nurse Practitioners uh, of Women's Health Association website is that you don't have to buy the whole study um, package. You can just pay for the content that you need. And then I also went back and studied this, which we used in school. So I think those three things, plus going over um, material that I had notes on from school and just going over questions and questions and questions. I did uh, also purchase the um, practice test from the National Association of Nurse Practitioners and Women's Health, their website also. So I think using these three resources really helped me feel prepared for this test. So I hope this helped. Um, you can comment and let me know what you use to study to take your board certification. And you can also ask me any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and um, watch my other videos. <laughs>